Henry and Reese our six-year-old and three-year-old border carriers respectively, who spent most of the last week crisscrossing the rugged, hot, windswept terrain of tiny Lehua Island. Lehua is a state seabird sanctuary and the site of an intensive restoration project over the past nine months to protect seabirds by removing invasive rats. In 2017, the partners of the Lehua Island Restoration Project applied a conservation bait to remove the population of invasive Pacific rats, which eat the chicks of nesting seabirds and devour the native plants that help support a large variety of bird life here. Since the operation last summer, monitoring teams continue to observe more albatross on Lehua than previously seen. There continues to be no sign of rat predation on plants or seabird eggs, something that was commonplace a year ago. Island eradications are very complex, and seeing a few surviving rats is a reflection of this, explained Sherry Mann, Kauai branch manager for the DLNR Division of Forestry and Wildlife. The Lehua Island Restoration Project partnership is working to ensure the island is free of invasive rats. An extensive network of motion triggered cameras picked up seven rat images since last fall, and the team is working diligently to address the situation appropriately. That's where these small dogs come in. Border terriers have a long established reputation of being able to pick up the scent of rodents. Henry and Reese are owned by Charlotte Metzler of Javi, Hawaii, who, along with certified professional dog trainer Kiyoko Johnson of Country Canines, spent months preparing the canine pair for their Lehua deployment. The training included trips to Oahu's Kaena Point Natural Area Reserve. The natural environment here closely duplicates what the dogs encounter on Lehua. So, yeah, these dogs have. Um spent time in Washington and Hawaii and they've been around chickens and your average um, birds but they've never been exposed to um, the density and the type of birds that we have here at Kaena Point and Lehua um, including ground burrowing birds which is very unusual for them and might be more of the kind of um, location where they find rats and holes so we really just want to get them exposed to it, used to it and um, not think they're important. Once Henry or Reese catch the scent of a rodent, their human handlers and monitoring staff with DOFA and Island Conservation mark the location. And they are going to be surveying the island um, in areas where we've uh, seen localized rat presence. So we, we haven't seen rats everywhere on the island, they've just been in little pockets. And so we're going to be surveying with the dogs in those areas and uh, trying to assess how widespread the um, rat presence is. Dogs like these border terriers have been successfully used in other conservation projects around the world. No, they collapsed the it was a tough week of sniffing for Henry and Reese. The grass on Lehua currently is well over their heads and much of the ground they traversed is steep, loose lava rock. While Lehua is only 279 acres in size, its topography made the canine's rat search very challenging, with the need for lots of water and rest stops. <laughs> Conservation detection dogs have been used previously in Hawaii to locate endangered species like the Hawaiian hoary bat and the wedge-tailed shearwater to measure impacts of wind farms. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, one of the partners in the Lehua restoration effort, used them in a pilot study to try and detect avian botulism in the endangered Hawaiian duck. During this first deployment to Lehua, the dog showed significant interest in three locations. All of these potential rat burrows were targeted for additional bait application and marked a check in the future. Plans are being made for Henry, yeah. Reese, and their handlers to return to Lehua for additional searches.